Hey guys, Eurok here, a major, major hype. So the update and the season two is finally here. Uh, so is Battle Royale, by the way, which has now been confirmed. Very exciting times ahead. But this is just going to be a quick video about the perks being completely overworked, which is huge, really, really huge. So yeah, the first and major change is definitely Overkill being moved to the red perk, that is the slot two perk. This is huge because people have to now choose between either running the M4 and 725 in Overkill or running Ghost. Now, it's been obvious that these two perks have been the most powerful perks in the game and having to make people choose between those two is just a huge win for the game. Next up for EOD, the hacking ability has been removed and instead added to the spotter perk. Now, I have no problem with that as someone who uses EOD a lot. It won't make me switch from it, as I rarely use the hacking feature anyway. Moving on, Quick Fix has also been slightly buffed, uh, and they have reduced the health regeneration delay. This is also quite big for me, as, as I didn't use this perk very much before, as I would just use the stims. But now this could possibly replace stims on some loadouts for me, as any kill will now immediately start the regeneration. Regarding perk number two slots, Ghost has been nerfed a little bit and now if you run Ghost you will be visible uh, to snapshot grenades. If you want to remain immune to snapshot grenades you'll have to run Battle Hardened in perk slot three. I think it's a positive change as Ghost was just too powerful before and it just balanced it a bit more. Um, restock has also had its recharge rate reduced from 30 seconds to 25 seconds. That's just a small buff here. Point man has been buffed and the score gain has been increased. This is again pretty cool as I only use this perk very rarely before, despite being a very objective focused player and getting a lot of my score from objective play. Now I will be definitely trying out point man and reporting how I find it. Regarding perk 3 slots, Spotter has now uh, gained the ability from EOD to hack equipment and the devs are apparently working on hacking through walls, so stay tuned for that. I really didn't use this perk very much, but I'll definitely be giving it a chance and trying it out. So now, finally for Battle Hardened, as previously mentioned, it has gained the uh, immunity to snapshot grenades, but most importantly here that they've added gas grenade resistance. So now, if you run this perk, you will no longer be coughing every time someone throws a gas grenade. Now, this is huge, I don't have to tell you, but uh, before people used to um, run the gas grenade on shipment and just shut down the enemy team with no counter uh, besides them equipping the gas grenade and basically doing the same back. Uh, but then it just degenerates into who can throw the gas grenade faster. So this is a much needed fix and finally the gas grenade spam will be stopped. So anyway, that's just a quick update on the perk rebalancing situation. I'm excited to check the rest of the update out, so do make sure to subscribe if you haven't. But I really appreciate you watching this video and bye for now.